Welcome to Lesson 1.9's Math Moment. Today, students learned about links and ratio tables and finding the linking values. So we're going to look at the first example that says, Grandma Sandy's sugar cookie recipe calls for six cups of flour for every two cups of sugar. And it says to make a ratio table for this situation. So I know that my basic ratio is six cups of flour to two cups of sugar. So I have it flip-flop here in my table. We could show it either way with flour going first and sugar going second, or we can show it sugar and flour. The ratio is the same. You just want to make sure your labels are correct. So if I have sugar, we have two cups of sugar for every six cups of flour. Now because we're working with a ratio table, I know that, this, um, that my amounts are going to increase going down instead of across. All right, so this is just for one batch of cookies. So in batch one, I need two cups of sugar, six cups of flour. In batch two, then, I would need four cups of sugar to make two batches, and I would need 12 cups of flour. So it keeps increasing as it moves down. If I wanted to make three batches of grandma's sugar cookies, I would need two times three, which would give me six and I would need four or six times three, which would give me 18. That's a lot of flour. All right, if I wanted to make four batches of her sugar cookies, I would continue to increase. So here I would be increasing by two. Two times four is eight. Or I could just look at the connection that we have from six to eight, which is just plus two. Here I would be increasing by six. So I would add six to get 24, which is also the same as six times four batches, 24. I could continue to go down the table showing how much sugar and flour I would need if I wanted to make five, six, seven, eight batches of sugar cookies, and so on, by looking at the connections that each one has moving down the ratio table. Remembering that my basic ratio is six to two, two cups of sugar to six cups of flour, I'm able to complete the table. So I'll do one more. If I wanted to make five batches of cookies, I would take five times two to get 10, and I would take five times six to get 30, all right? And I would continue on. Another thing that students looked at today was what is the linking unit in this situation? Okay, I have sugar, I have flour. Their amounts are different, which is why they're a ratio. But what kind of connects them all together? When I put sugar and flour together, what does it make? It makes one batch of cookies. So our linking unit is batches. When I put my two items together, the linking thing that it makes or the connection they have is a batch of cookies. If you have any other questions about 1.9, make sure to see your math teacher.